In October 2017, Kingspan commissioned the Fire Testing Laboratory, Effectus, to conduct a series of ISO 13785 Part 1 tests. The tested constructions matched the constructions that were tested to BS8414 for the Government Building Safety Program soon after the Grenfell Tower tragedy. The ISO 13785 Part 1 test comprises of a 2.4 metre L-shaped wall with a corner. It is essentially one third of the size of the BS8414 test with a lower fire load to compensate for the smaller scale. You will now see some videos of the ISO 13785 Part 1 tests to show you how each construction performed. On screen you can see four tests that comprise phenolic and rock mineral fibre insulation with A2 solid cord and FR cord ACMs. You are seeing a seven second clip at the beginning and at five minute intervals until the end of the test. The highlighted construction would comply with the new ban on the use of combustible materials in cladding systems on apartments, student accommodation and other types of building where people sleep in England. The others don't. It's clear that the fire spread is limited and slow. There is some damage to the ACM as it disintegrates in the tests, but the insulation materials don't propagate the fire. The systems perform pretty much identically. Clearly, there is very little difference between the insulation materials and between the A2 and FR ACMs. You might well think that these tests were not harsh enough and that any system would perform similarly. However, we also tested systems with a PE cord ACM. On screen, you are about to see three tests that comprise PIR, phenolic and rock mineral fibre insulation with a PE cord ACM. The only difference between the phenolic and rock mineral fibre insulation tests and those in the previous video is the type of ACM. Additionally, a system comprising PIR insulation was also tested, which is highlighted. The construction comprises the insulation material and ACM panel that was used on over 90% of Grenfell Tower. What you can see is a 7 second clip at the beginning and at 2 and a half minute intervals until 10 minutes into the test. The time intervals have been shortened for these tests because, as you can see on screen, the fire spread is much more rapid. By just 5 minutes, all of the PE cord ACM panels are burning. At just 10 minutes, the cladding panels in all three systems have completely burnt away, leaving the insulation material behind, which, in all cases, has self-extinguished. The government's ban on the use of combustible materials in the exterior walls of various building types may appear to be a logical move, but the issue of fire safety is more complex than that. The videos you have just seen perfectly illustrate that the impact of using PE cord ACMs is several orders of magnitude greater than whether an insulation material is combustible or not. The videos also show that product performance is not a reliable indicator of system performance. Systems that feature combustible materials can perform as well as those that don't.